One of the first continental stars attracted by Hollywood's interest in Europe was Paula Negri. Adolf Zucker, a producer who understood the creative and most importantly financial benefits that Negri's star appeal might provide for his studio, invited her to the United States in late 1922. Fun magazine debate placed Negri in the context of what was perceived as her exotic temperament from the beginning of her Hollywood career. Both off-screen and in private, Paula Negri was a very emotional person. She never goes without. Only a continental star could have painted a portrait of sensual vigor and passion like Negri did in his promo. The celebrity walked into Hollywood with the geniality of an emperor, according to one journalist. Numerous amorous relationships served to raise Negri's star value and strengthen her association with the idea of a European diva by filling the pages of the fan press. Since they literalized the mythology of the vamp, Negri's engagements were the most significant, deeper connection source of her fame. In fact, one of the earliest references to her antics in the American fan press mentioned her supposed romantic interest with Charlie Chaplin, whom she met during his trip to Europe. Liaisons with the most powerful people in the industry went hand-in-hand with a critical commentary portraying the star as a passionate diva. Negri's career fluctuated along with a string of relationships with the most alluring performers of the day, most notably Rudolph Valentino, after her time with Chaplin. Rudolph Valentino was unquestionably a cultural icon and one of the most alluring men of the era of silent films. He became one of the earliest heartthrobs in Hollywood. However, Valentino unexpectedly went into the hospital in August 1926 with a perforated ulcer. A week afterward, he passed away. In a word, his funeral was was insane. The New York cops were first overwhelmed by distraught fans. According to the Smithsonian, there were around 100,000 people in the gathering outside the funeral home. As the mourners battled for a final look at the Latin lover, a bra eventually broke out. Hollywood bigwigs, including Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks, and Gloria Swanson were among those who attended. Four black shirt honor guards, supposedly sent by Benito Mussolini, were stationed by the coffin inside the nursing home. Investigations conducted afterward revealed that the guards were employed by the funeral home as part of a publicity stunt. After all, what funeral home would turn down free exposure? The drama continued after that. The twice-divorced Valentino was seeing Pola at the time of his death. Between the railway station and the chapel, she designated herself the top mourner and willingly passed out multiple times for photographers. Once more, she passed out next to Valentino's casket. Negri, overcome with emotion, passed out on her lover's casket and, after being recovered, announced that Valentino had engaged to her. She declared herself to be the star's widow and then passed out once more in front of a big floral arrangement she had sent to the funeral home. The flowers were arranged to spell out her initial name. However, Paula Negri's affairs took her outside the bounds of acceptable femininity. Click here to watch this video next.